Oh, hello there. So how the heck do you tune six carburetors at the same time? That's what we're gonna go over today. So I've got my 1997 Honda Valkyrie behind me. It's got six carburetors and we're gonna get those tuned up today. So most importantly, if you're gonna be working on the dad bike, you're gonna have to have dad shoes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We've got the Digisync digital vacuum gauge. So this digital gauge comes with six vacuum hoses uh, and they will attach to the system with these. And this is the Digisync itself. And I'll show you how this all works in a little bit. But here is all the uh, six outputs for the hoses. Cool thing about it is uh, magnetic as well. So I'll show you that too. Just slaps right on the tank. Pretty, pretty dang easy. Got a few other things here that we actually don't need today, so I'm not gonna go over that. All right, let's get to it. All right, first things first, we have to let it warm up for a while. We don't want necessarily the radiator to come on, uh, but right before the, uh, the fan starts. So we're gonna get that bad boy warmed up for a good 10, 15 minutes and we'll get started. All right, time to put this bad boy on. Like I said earlier, magnetic, which is pretty helpful. All right, so we've got these going to the right side. So one, three, and five. And then we've got two, four, and six down here. The tools I'm gonna to use today is drill, screwdriver, and these like curved needle nose pliers. You'll see what these are good for here in a bit. All right, first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and take the carb cover off. Remember, the engine's hot, so be careful. We'll keep those. All right, so this is where these pliers come in handy. So we've got these little caps back here we're gonna pop off, just like that. So make sure we keep those in the right spot. So that's four and we're gonna leave six on there right now since it is tied into the gas and we'll do that very last so we'll leave that on there now so we're gonna kind of grab so this is two Ow, that's pretty hot it's sitting on the exhaust awesome all right so get these in there like that I'm just going to kind of tuck this number six away for right now so it doesn't get too hot or stuck on something. All right, that's it for this side. All right, side two now. Make sure we keep those. All right, and our handy dandy pliers. So, there is actually a hose that ties this carb and this carb together. Um, and then there's one just tube in the middle that we'll pull off. So, it's kind of neat. And there's a little tube. Single tube. All right. Now, so number one. Alright, number three here. There's one three five on this side. And this is gonna be our consistent carb. Alright, make sure there's no kinks in that hose. Let's 
good. And number five. All right, we are on there. All right, so we got everything plugged in, hooked up. I've got the fan going to keep everything cool. All right, so let's turn this on. All right, we're ready to turn this thing on. It's gonna get kind of loud. All right, key on. Isn't that kind of cool? Eyes light up a little bit. All right. So this is a number six that pulls from, uh, that pulls the gas. So that's, that one's the one that's not plugged in. So, ah, wow. We're looking pretty solid all the way across. So you've got idle sitting right about 900 RPMs. One thing we need to do too is actually get on the bike and make sure it's level since I don't have a chalk. All right. Doesn't actually look like I need to tune anything. I like the idle on this between 900 and 1000 RPMs typically. So that's how this reads, not quite how that reads. Kind of interesting. Looks pretty good to me. Let's uh, let's set up number six now. All right, now I've got all six plugged in. Let's check it out. So it looks like number six needs some adjustment here. Just ever so slightly. Let's turn it off for a second. So we don't run out of gas here. Our screwdriver. So the adjustment for this one is right here. It's all adjusted. Looks like we're about on point. I think we're looking pretty good. About to run out of gas here in the carb, so I think that's it for the tune. Well, that actually wraps it up for uh, a DigiSync carb tune. It's actually pretty dang easy uh, versus using all the uh, the vacuum gauges and stuff like that. So I I think it's money well spent. Um, this is not going to be my last bike with multiple carburetors to tune. So. I think it's a good investment. There goes the long guy. All right. Uh, I'm going to put this thing back together and go for a ride here before it gets too hot here in Texas. So, well, see you later.